Hey everybody, today I wanted to share with you an update to my previous Mew3 welder list that I uploaded uh, maybe a week ago. Uh, I've made some changes to the deck, uh, the main important one being Latios GX. I think Latios GX has so much utility, Tag Purge GX being useful against Tina Chomp, uh, the Mewtwo Mirror Match, uh, Pikaram and any other tag team based deck, being able to lock them out of attacks can be super helpful, especially in the mirror match. It can help you in a lot of situations, uh, even though it doesn't necessarily help against the newer decks like Eternatus VMAX and Centiscorch. Uh, Latios GX can give you a near auto win situation in a lot of decks, so for that reason I think it's helpful. Uh, but the main reason I'm playing it is because of the Clear Vision GX attack against ADP, just being able to prevent them from using Alter Creation, and also potentially preventing uh, your opponent in a mirror match from using any kind of GX attack can be really, really useful. Uh, the free retreat is so nice because if you start with it, you can just get it out of the way really quickly. Um, this is the main card that I'm playing uh, that I wasn't playing in the last Welder Mew 3 deck I showed for you. Uh, if, this, if you haven't seen my previous build, uh, basically... Uh, this deck is fairly popular. You're using Mewtwo and Mew to copy the attacks of the other EX and GX Pokemon, although it's just GX Pokemon this time because we are living far into the future. We are playing 4 Horror Energy, and then we are playing 8 Fire. We're going to be using Welder. I don't have Eldegoss in this build because I have Palpad. Uh, the idea, I'm kind of thinking that Palpad is maybe useful in more situations than Eldegoss is. Yes, end game, you can Eldegoss get back that key boss to win, but uh, I find myself in games... Uh, putting back welders I had to discard early. If I had to discard boss early with the Dene, I can get it back into the deck. Um, and so currently I'm rocking with uh, one Palpat instead of Eldegoss. Uh, I also took out the Zigzagoons and Scoop Up Nets. Somebody pointed out in my last Welder Mew 3 video that uh, in the game I was playing with uh, Zigzagoons and Scoop Up Nets, but then, then in the list I showed, I didn't have them at all. So I'm still not playing the Zigzagoons and Scoop Up Nets. Uh, I don't think that they're uh, absolutely necessary in this build. Um, and so far I've had more success uh, without them, but uh, who knows, they're definitely worth experimenting with. So be sure to let me know in the comments below uh, what you think of this list and uh, what you're playing, if you think scoop up nets are necessary. I have a couple of games here to show you. Um, the, these are some pretty exciting ones from uh, when I was playing this deck on stream. So hopefully you enjoy that. Uh, if this is your first time here at the channel, be sure to subscribe. Uh, liking, commenting helps the channel out. Uh, also, be sure to comment any misplays you notice in my games because I'm always looking to improve. Uh, thank you so much for watching and hopefully you enjoy these games with the updated uh, Mew3 Welder list. What are you playing for proper sniping? I'm not gonna tell you, hey, look, you had half a second to go see what deck I chose. And if you aren't keeping your eyes out, then you're a then you're a poor sniper. I ordered Pikachu and Zekrom and was planning to build from there. That's all right, yeah, Pikachu, Zekrom. Even if I heard it might not be good in the new rotation, not true. So Pikachu, Zekrom is still very, very good. Um, it, like there were pieces of it that rotated out, but the deck itself still is so adaptable to so many different situations and is very, very good. Uh, I think purely numbers wise, it may seem that like, um, it's kind of outclassed by a lot of decks, but like it has so many more choices than other decks do. So it's much easier to outplay your opponent. Like I think Pikaram has still been doing really well at tournaments, but it's also very good players doing really well with it. Like you have to be smart to play Pikaram, right? But like I, Pikaram is far from over. There, there will be another, there will be another, um, whole, I, I don't have a video on Pikaram yet. I will, I will make a video on Pikaram. Uh, I'm working on it. Um, but yes, Pikaram is, is far from over. It's, it's, there's going to be a whole nother year of Pikaram kind of, I don't want to say dominating, but like being the unexpected thing in the meta. I think people are sleeping on Pikaram. It's good. 
Uh, don't get into Eternatus if you don't want to drop a lot of money. It's fun though, I'll admit. Yeah, Eternatus is just expensive. You got Boltend and Vicavolt. Nice, nice. Yeah, Vicavolt gives Picaram so many more options. Like, in the past, Picaram was just like the fastest, most aggressive deck. But like now you can afford to be patient with peek around. Like a lot of lists are playing hammers. You can slow your opponent down. If you item lock them, so many decks don't have answers to item lock right now. And like, because the pure Vicavolt list kind of isn't really as possible anymore. Like item locking with, with peek around is busted. It's busted. Last night I completed Raichu powerful spark deck. That's nice. Vivid Voltage is gonna give peek around a big boost. The deck just won't die. Uh, have there been any, what, what's been announced for Vivid Voltage in terms of electric support? Because, I mean, I've, I, I know it's, like, called Vivid Voltage and all that, but I've been trying to keep my eyes out for, like, all of the, all of the, um, electric support, but I have, other than the Pikachu VMAX, I haven't seen anything. But maybe I'm missing it. Maybe I just don't understand yet. Maybe I'm just the plebeian. Uh, what is our opponent playing? Decidueye Goons. Ah, oh, that's so annoying. I hate this. Um, I'm sniffling. Oh my god, I'm a sniffling brat. Okay. Um. Okay. Um. I think we find this. We put this back into the deck. Then we play this. Okay, then we manually attach. Um, I should have find, found Crobat right there. All right, we'll heal. And then what? Oh my God, I keep dropping shit. Don't say bad words like me, kids. Um, we pass. All right. Um, how many Picaroms do I need in a Picarom list? I got the two free ones uh, and a bunch of Vicavolt Vs. Uh, it's the Electrode, pretty much Electro GX is a regular Pokey. Oh, the Electrode. Yeah, I don't remember what the Electrode does. I'll have to go to Poke Beach to check that out. Uh, I try to create a deck standard, but I need one Crobat V and two Dene GX. Yeah, that is true. Um, yeah, you, you, your decks are just faster and more consistent when you have the Crobat Vs and the Dene's. I think that Dene should be a lot easier to find now than they used to be, but Crobat is, is the, the chase card right now. Uh, Troberitz, I think that, uh, you could definitely get away with two Picaram, especially if you have a variety of electric attackers. I think most decks will play three. Definitely, you will not need four. Um, two to three, I think, is what you can do. Test it out with two, and if you really find yourself needing the third, then you can find the third. Uh, I think I had... I don't remember how many I had in my list, but I think it was two or three. Um, okay, so this... Prevent all damage, dot by attack. So, poison... Poison is a not bad. <laughs> um, okay, so we're gonna do this. Get our fiery for ends. We're gonna get this. We're gonna get. Um, what do we like? Not even care about. Venom shot, I guess, and then discard that. For what? For the bat. That seems right. Then we can attach there. And we can just put the bat down. And we can draw three. Oh, busted, busted, busted. Busted, busted, busted. And then we can just attach here. Nice. And then we can just do severe poison. So severe poison is how we're going to get over to Situi. And we also have Nasty Goo Mix GX, which is really good too. Just got the free versus one too. Yeah, nice. Uh, I try to create new deck standard. Yeah, I already read that. Uh, oh yeah, let's check out what this Electrode does. We gotta go to Poke Beach. 
of Poke Beach. Let's check this out. We'll go look. Oh my god, what? 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 Poke Beach. Yes. Where's the vivid voltage list? Uh, small, mighty, premium. Da 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 da. Where is vivid volt? Oh, shocking volt tackle. See, oh, see, I don't care about the secret rares. Um, news. Where's the the list? Cards. Um. Okay. Electrode vivid voltage. Voltage vivi. Okay. Okay. Uh ha ha! I think we just do this. That's pretty sweet. Um we can do this. That's pretty sweet. We can do this, that's pretty sweet. Uh and then we can just do the nasty goo mix, right? Yeah, that's sick. Bye bye decidui. Oh, I should have healed! I didn't heal with the Ndidi. That was a mis mistake. Here's your ability for Electrode. Once during your turn, if this Pokemon is on your bench, you may knock out this Pokemon. If you do, search your deck for two Lightning Energy cards, attach them to your Pokemon in any way you like, then shuffle your deck. Oh, but it has to evolve from Voltorb, right? Okay, I understand. I understand. What's up, Burnt? It's all right. Yeah, I think I think it's not bad. I like the Pokemon that knock themselves out because of the stamp combos. Uh, I think that's cool. Okay, so we have to heal. Can't forget to heal like we did last time. Okay. Yeah, dummy. Um... We're just gonna boss this, right? Like, that's correct. Like, literally, don't get carried away. Don't do anything crazy dumb, just attack the Rowlets. Yep. Hello? What does BHP mean? I don't know what that means. What were you reading? RS Matt, hello. I was reading the thing that Seaside Wavy put in. Picarom can just go first and then use Electrode next turn. Yeah. I think Picarom doesn't mind going first or second. I think, like, it can play Hammers, it can play Turbo Patch, it can play, like, anything. Like, Picarom is the most adaptable, versatile deck. Oh wow, you got two Rowlets out there now. Busted! Alright, so let's draw. Uh, let's heal. And should we just take out the one with the energy? Is it worth it? I'm just gonna attack the active. Like, take out the Jirachi. This can evolve, sure. Go for it, but... <laughs> we have boss. We're good. We're golden. BHP is trainer. Oh, I understand what BHP is. It stands for um, Big Heckin' Pokemon. Whistle. Yeah, Judge's Whistle's broken. Judge's Whistle's busted. BHP doesn't believe me, but... We shall see. I'm calling it now. Intellion will see less play once we get Vivid Voltage. Yeah, I, I agree. I think Intellion's already kind of seeing less play. Um, so we'll watch over. And then we're gonna draw. Um, sure, put Hearth into play. Oh, we won. 
Rip Intellion, it only had a few good months. Yeah. Intellion was like... So the thing is, it was like similar to Dragapult, but just not as good as Dragapult. But it just had this like really nice sweet spot where like everyone thought Picaram was bad, which was its worst matchup. And then it had a good matchup against Scorch, decent against Eternatus. So it was like, oh wow, awesome. Like it's really, really good. It like fits this niche perfectly. But I think people are so slowly realizing that, oh wow, like, <laughs> uh, what do you call it? Um, what am I saying? People are realizing that, um, oh my God, my words. Uh, people are realizing, oh right, that Picaram's not dead, that Picaram's busted. Yes, that's what people realize. Uh, so this is a empty hand. Um, let's go. Picaram has nine lives. Picaram has uh, uh, nine lives, yes. True, ours, man. True. So many lives. Lives gain, live loss, Picarom getting, yeah. <laughs> like it doesn't, Picarom's good. Picarom's so good. Picarom's so good. You ever seen anything as good as Picarom? I thought not. The only thing that could kill Picarom is rotation. Yeah, the only thing that's gonna kill Picarom is when Picarom itself rotates out. Forget about Thunder Mountain, forget about Zara Aura, forget about Electro Power. Picaram's still busted. Like, <laughs> Tagbolt GX can take so many prizes in a turn. <coughs> uh, wow. I love the art on this. It's very cool. Very cool indeed. Very cool. So, should we boss it? Let's just do it. Why not? YOLO. Uh, boss right there helped us zero amount. <laughs> it was actually terrible to boss because now we can't use welder. That was a horrible misplay. Horrible. Why did I do that? Why on earth would I have done that? I was distracted by RF Matt saying, TBH, that's a boss card. And I was just like, boss? Boss's order? You hypnotized me. You got into my brain. Okay, Seaside. I was thinking about that. I was like, yes, Rotom Phone is objectively better than Judge's Whistle. But then I read Rotom Phone a second time. Like, I think I talked, I don't know if I was talking to you on stream or somebody, but I read Rotom Phone carefully, what it says. I thought Rotom Phone was just a busted version. Rotom Phone. <sighs> okay, wait, let me just, let me focus. I, I thought it was a busted ass, busted, busted, broken version of Trainer's Mail. I thought it said, look at the top five cards of your deck, right? And of the cards there, put a uh, one of the cards in your hand, right? Unfair, broken, so good, right? But then I actually read the card closer and the text on the card says, um, Uh, let's just get the dead A. The text on the card says, look at the top five cards of your deck, choose one of them, and put the card on top of the deck. And I was like, it's not, it's not the same as Judge's Whistle. It's still broken in ADP. It's broken in decks that play Oranguru, right? But you kind of don't really have a lot of space for Oranguru in Mewtwo and Mew. Like, sure, you could play it, but like, I'd rather just play Judge's Whistle. Like, you know what's good? You know what's good? 
playing four Rotom Phone and four Judge's Whistle. Because then you can play the Rotom Phone, look for the card, put it on top of the deck, then play the Judge's Whistle and draw the card. All right, busted. That's busted. Absolutely busted. Okay, what is this? Oh, I don't... What? Okay. Okay. Uh, we're gonna heal. You should make room. Yeah, okay. You know, maybe we'll do things your way. Alright, we're gonna tag Burge. Although we could have knocked it out, but... Uh, maybe I got carried away with the tag purge. Yeah, you put it on top of the deck. I thought you put it in the hand. And that's why I was like, it's so good. It's so good. Best card ever. It replaces Judge's Whistle instantly. But it goes on top of the deck. So you need Guru for it to work. And I love Guru, but... But... Sometimes, you know. Sometimes, you know, you just got to do this, do this, find this, I guess. Manually attach. Heal be active. Attack with Tag Purge. <laughs> tag Purge is so good. Tag Purge wins me so many games with Mewtwo and Mew. Because, like, how do they, they... The only thing they can really respond to a Tag Purge with is boss. But that doesn't get rid of the threat. I still have my GX attack, so I can one-shot this. I have the Family Zard here. Yeah. Control is going to be even more annoying with Rotom Phone. Possibly. It'll just make it more consistent. Even without Guru, Rotom Phone is better than Whistle. I don't agree. I don't agree. Because you do get to search deeper, right? But it does not, like, in terms of card advantage, Rotom Phone is a minus one that sets up for a play, right? Whereas Judge's Whistle is a is a zero. It is, you spend a card, you get a card, right? Rotom Phone is best in a deck that already plays Judge's Whistle. Because then you can Rotom Phone, put the card on top of the deck, then just play the Judge's Whistle. Alright? Judge's Whistle is so good that none of you cowards are willing to admit it. Okay? You don't understand the power of the whistle. Clear Vision GX. Should we get rid of it? Yeah, we're gonna use Venom Shot. We're gonna go here. That Latios is dangerous. Don't let it exist. Who are you calling cowards? I'm specifically, the people I'm naming as cowards go by the name as RF Smat and, um, and Paspin Tout. Yep, I'm specifically calling you two out as as lame little lamies who don't understand whistle. <laughs> and in comes Gazer Beam saying, "Drop the whistle, add in Omastar." Uh, I don't think they're. I don't. I think Omastar will slow Mewtwo down. I think there are decks that can really benefit from Omastar, but not Mewtwo. Mewtwo, you want a full bench. You already have a stadium. I don't know. Okay, what is this? Oh, that's that. I was like, what is this Alolan Marowak doing? I'll prove you wrong tonight! Alright, Gazer Beam. Gazer Beam's doing item lock Mewtwo tonight. Very excited. Very excited to see Gazer Beam stream. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. 
I understand, Whistle. I know. I just know you're wrong, kid. Who you calling kid, Pasp? I know this game better than you do. It's all talk. All, all yammering, 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 hammering from my chat. That's all we get. All right. I think this opponent's playing ADP, right? Avenge me? Oh, did you did you snipe me in this tournament and lose, Pasp? This ADP player just beat me? Okay. All right. We'll, we'll avenge Pasp and Tau right here. We will avenge Pasp and Tau. All right. So we have Sir Victini. All right. Done. All right. They started to do that, so they start about two. I'll play almost star in my turnus deck just to have it discarded with V Max ability. <laughs> I love it. I love it, Seaside. That's very smart. Very smart. Because it's like, when does it turn? Okay, think about this. When does Eternatus lose? Eternatus loses when you have a small bench, right? So when you have almost star, all of a sudden you win when you have a small bench, and then when you get the ability. And you get the big bench, right? You can discard the Amistar, and then you're winning again. So it just makes the losing situation a winning situation, and then the winning situation is already a winning situation. So yeah, Seaside's on to something. Play Amistar in Eternatus. Broken. OP. Overpowered. Should be banned. Should be banned. Alright guys, when this tournament's over, I got something very special prepared for you all. I got something super special. Like, you're not ready for how special this is going to be. Oh, it's going to be so good. You're not ready. No way you're prepared for how special this is going to be. Ah, oh, I don't want to throw out these. Oh, I hate that. I hate throwing out perfectly good welders. That's too many welders to throw away. Oh my lord. Um... Uh, it hurts. It hurts. Oh, it hurts so deeply. Um. Let's think. Um. Crobat. I'm gonna put this one into play. I'm gonna draw. Um. I've really thought about what non-dark Pokemon you can play with Eternus. The only one I can think of is Magneton. Yeah. Uh, well, you could play, if you're playing the Weavile GX, I've seen people play the Water Sneasel. Because once it evolves, it becomes dark type, so it doesn't matter. But like, you have one Water Pokemon in the deck. Um, I don't know, you could you could like play Dede- I haven't seen anybody Maybe there's a good reason why this doesn't work, but like, you could just play Dedenes and then end up discarding them for the ability. You don't get to choose what you discard though, do you? Just when you have a Pokemon sitting there on the bench, you don't get it. Maybe Giovanni's Exile. Not dying, not dying, not dying, bro. Yeah, please don't die, Troberitz. We need you. We need you. Can't afford to die. Okay. So is this going to be Alter Creation? Oh, that sucks. We lost so many welders. So many welders. Suboptimal turn. <sighs> Do they have energy switch? Yep, they have an energy switch. Just as I was about to speak. All right. 
even though I might lose this, y'all better not go anywhere. I do have something really, really special prepared. Like, you're not ready for how good it's gonna be. Alright? I have a really good, I have actually multiple really good PowerPoint presentations ready. Alright. So it's gonna be, it's gonna be an experience. <laughs> uh, okay, so now, now they just basically said, draw on a switch or you lose. Um, uh, 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 uh. Alright, let's do that. Let's do this. <laughs> Hoping it's Sebulba mode. All right, I haven't gotten I haven't gotten buff enough to fully be able to do Sebulba mode. I'm working on it. I'm working on my Sebulba mode abilities. Practicing every day, you know, doing doing a little bit of Sebulby every now and then to keep keep myself Sebulba out. But I'm a Giovanni exile all my eternities and going with the Crobats. So my opponent will never expect it. Yes, you should do that. Your opponent will not expect it. Should I get a pen and paper? Yes, while I get more coffee. Okay. Wow, look look what happened. They were not able to respond. Beautiful. Really beautiful there. Really beautifully done. Really beautiful done on my part, their part, everybody's part. Everybody had a part in this one. Okay. But you know what didn't have no part? Um there wasn't really a way to part my hair. Uh how to get that part out of there. Jeez, we really need to draw to a McFreakin' Switch. Yeah, so big, exciting, multi- In fact, I don't know, I, I stayed up late last night really preparing for the presentation I'm about to give to you. Uh, I, I had to get a lot of cute pictures, do it. Uh, I have multiple PowerPoints, so class better, better take notes, get attention. Uh, this PowerPoint presentation is going to be an hour lecture about Judge's Whistle. Well, don't, don't tell people beforehand, Aura, uh, okay? Don't, don't give it away, okay? People will be surprised. Uh, you know, I'm teaching a college course on why Judge's Whistle is broken, okay? A college course, college level course. Hmm. Hmm. Oh my god. How are we still this stuck? <laughs> We're gonna manually retreat. Oh my lord. Oh my goodness. Wait, they don't have the out in hand, so... Pass. 
pass. Can we deck out ADP? They don't have the switched. I hope they just didn't draw the balloon. Diego is cute thinking every TCG is just like Yu-Gi-Oh. Okay, like I know that every TCG isn't isn't just like Yu-Gi-Oh, but like every TCG does use the same principle. Oh, energy switch. Yeah, there it is. There's the retreat. There's the retreat. You can't knock me out in one turn though. Yeah, get your Excel, Excel spreadsheet ready. Um, it's not that every TCG is like Yu-Gi-Oh. Like Yu-Gi-Oh, of course, has some very obvious differences, right? Uh, if if uh, Pokemon had a card that said, give your opponent an extra prize or half of a prize, which is probably what a thousand life points is, like give your opponent half a prize and draw a card, it would not be worth playing it, even though that would be worth playing in Yu-Gi-Oh, like to give your opponent life, right? But what I'm saying is that Judge's Whistle is absolutely free. Okay, take your dumb stuff, get it out of here, you don't want it, goodbye. Okay, look at this. Wait, we gotta do this first. Look at this, free card. Wow, busted. Okay, so we're gonna stamp, obviously. Uh, we're gonna attach. We're gonna draw another free card. Might as well put that there. And let's think carefully. Tag version. So then they have to come up with Zation. Zation we are able to knock out, right? Right? No, we can't. Hmm. This is rough. Are they gonna make okay, bah. Okay, we lose. We lose. Yeah, get your pillow, get everything. All right, get ready for my one hour lecture on Judge's Whistle. Everybody better get ready. I let you know you can stay as long